Hey, welcome back to another edition for the second break cipher of the first, well, break session of the first cipher. Uh, you gotta love it when uh, you have a certain way you do things. Like, for example, just throwing it out there, uh, how you uh, promote your uh, radio show by posting like clips onto uh, various social media. And it's always great when uh, they just throw in a brand new like changes that totally mess up everything you're that you've had in place. So uh, it just doubled my work. It's amazing. Before I was able to post like a minute clip. And so I created the clips to be like minute long, like, you know, like batches of the clip to each section is a minute long to kind of, but now it it's like 30 seconds and then there's like a rendering time thing now. And so it just makes things much more. You got, you got to love it when, see, this is why I never like to completely build like a whole thing on a certain third party social media thing, because they could just change it. And then you're just dealt to just deal with it. I just, it's amazing. Ha. Ah, okay. So I've been doing that. I'm almost kind of done. I think I just totally forgot where I left off because it's taking forever now. So neither here nor there. That is something that I'll be doing dealing with behind the scenes. Cool. All right. So for this break session, I figured since it is October, how's it October already? All right. Uh, so uh, for anybody that's in like the coding realm, you may or may not be aware of this thing that happens every October. I think it's been happening maybe like 10 years, I think, maybe, going on, somewhere around there. Uh, Hacktoberfest. So I figured we'd just kind of go over that real quick uh, for people that are familiar and uh, just kind of go to the website, the official website of Hacktoberfest. And because uh, you'll see a bunch of stuff around Hacktoberfest as well, but want to kind of just show uh, what's happening with Hacktoberfest. All right, cool. Uh, hold on, let me... Uh, Make it a little bit bigger, like in rid of the browser. All right, cool. So here we go. Hacktoberfest 2021. Oh, I can't believe it's 2021, October. What is up with time? All right. So, uh, cool. So, okay. So here we go. And then, huh. So, wait, this, wait, this image is linkable, but it just takes you to the site. Neither here nor there. All right, cool. So Hacktoberfest is pretty much like as they say here. Uh, it doesn't say it there. Never mind. My first time looking at the site, as you could probably tell. All right. Uh, so Hacktoberfest is an opportunity for folks uh, who haven't really contributed to open source before to kind of get their feet wet, and it's a way of like incentivizing people to hey. Uh, come contribute to an open source uh, project because like it says, open source is changing the world one contribution at a time. And so it's kind of just a way of inviting people, you know, long time contributors or people maybe first time to kind of contribute to this community that's helping make the world a better place. And by, you know, uh, helping solve issues with certain things that, you know, and you bring your own perspectives to stuff, which is kind of cool as well. And you get practice for things. So, yeah. So, so the hope is that you will also think it's cool because I think uh, they were giving t-shirts away before. I'm not sure if they're doing it now, but all right. So let's just go through the site real quick. So that's the idea is to get people to contribute to open source projects and help make the world a better place. All right. So here we go at the top, Hacktoberfest, cool 2021. Now, if I click start hacking, where does this take me? Okay, so you have to register. So look at the three steps. Welcome. To get started, you'll need to sign up with your GitHub or GitLab account. If you, do not if you don't have a GitHub account yet, you can create one, and then you can sign up with GitHub or GitLab here. Uh, so I have both. Like, I have a GitHub from when I was back in the uh, coding bootcamp days. And this was before they had private repos. So I actually created my own GitLab instance uh, on uh, like a server. And so I've been kind of using that for my own projects and things. But at work, we use GitHub. So I 
go back and forth with that. So, yeah, so you can sign up. Cool. So that's how you would sign up. By the way, which reminds me, I kind of like the animation. That's kind of cool how it uh, draws in there. All right. Uh, I'm going to post a link in this uh, section that I created because I made the website to where the, uh, the archive video will have links to anything. We'll have the links that I mentioned during these breaks. So it's a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about trying to see what the actual site was and everything. So, all right, uh, cool. So then start hacking, takes you to the registration. Shouts to the people who are supporting it and uh, sponsoring it. Let's see. All right, so support open source throughout October. Hacktoberfest encourages participation in the open source community, which grows bigger every year. Complete the 2021 challenge and earn a limited edition T-shirt. And these things are pretty coveted. Like uh, they, uh, what you call it? Did I share this? Did I share audio? I don't think so. Whatever. Uh, but they, uh, yeah, people really love these T-shirts. And so, so much so that, okay, yeah, welcome to Hacktoberfest number eight. Eight years. Cool. Uh, but yeah, like at the last one, I don't know if it was happened as much previous years but there was a lot of like spam contributions where it was kind of like oh let me add this period here at this end of this sentence or add a random comma somewhere you know things that didn't actually uh provide like actual value and the thing is you have the people making contributions which is cool but then you have the people who maintain those open source projects and so having like a flood of all these like just nonsensical contributions really made a lot more work for the maintainers. And uh, they, uh, yeah, so it was a lot of stuff. So they came up with like a on the fly solution to where uh, the people, like the maintainers of these open source, because a lot of times these people aren't getting paid. You know what I'm saying? It's open source. So people are donating their time for these projects. And so they made it to where it's kind of like an opt-in thing now. So if you, as a maintainer, want to have contributions made to it, then you opt in and then you like do like a hashtag or a tag or something to let people know that you want to be a part of it. I don't think I have audio, so but this is Yancy Spiril, CEO. Some nice music. I'm going to kind of narrate it just in case if I didn't share the audio. I probably didn't. Uh, let's see. Welcome to Hacktoberfest. So it's welcoming At DigitalOcean, we believe the community is I guess bigger he's the than CEO just us, of Digital Ocean. which is why we celebrate the open source community throughout the month of October. So they're celebrating the uh, We started Hacktoberfest in 2013. Started in 2013. And that first year, we had nearly 700 participants. Nearly had 700 and participants. And over the years, Hacktoberfest has grown to a community of over 150,000 participants. Now it's like 100, over 150,000. countries who participate by sharing their projects Making pull, projects, requests, making pull requests, making pull requests, you know what, just check out the website. That's what we're going to do. Cause I, again, I don't remember now this is cool. Cause I think I don't remember how many years ago, but yet yeah, in lieu of doing a t-shirt, you can actually have a tree planted, which is pretty cool. So rather than receive t-shirts as swag, you can choose to have a tree planted in your name and make Hacktoberfest 2021 more carbon neutral, which is pretty dope. So that's cool. Uh, giving to open source, open source projects keep the internet humming, uh, but they can't do it without resources. Donate and support their awesome works. So cool. So you can uh, donate. What is Hacktoberfest? Hacktoberfest in its eighth year is a month long celebration of open source software run by DigitalOcean. During the month of October, we invite you to join open source software enthusiasts, beginners, and the developer community by contributing to open source projects. You can uh, do this in a variety of ways, prepare and share your project for collaboration. Like we said, maintainers say, hey, we would like to have uh, contributions. Welcome. Uh, contribute to the betterment of a project via pull request. So then if there's a, especially if there's, if there's always been like a open source project that you always use and you're like, it'd be cool. Like you found uh, like value in it, but there was like maybe something that was kind of maybe missing or whatever. And then maybe you can add uh, do a pull request to add that thing and it may help others. Or you can take a look at all the different uh, issues that are in that open source and you may be able to help out with one. That's a good way of doing it. Organize an event, mentor others, and donate directly to open source projects, which is cool. 
How does it work? Hacktoberfest is open to everyone in our global community. Oh, here we go. Maintainers determine if their open source projects participate by adding the Hacktoberfest topic. And then quality pull requests, because this is the issue, submitted on GitHub and GitLab are rewarded. And then engaged maintenance of Hacktoberfest tag uh, repositories are rewarded. So I guess they also uh, reward the maintainers for uh, going through the pull requests and things. So that's uh, pretty nice. So yeah, so you sign in, uh, you, lo you log in, you sign up with your GitHub or GitLab account, and that way you can kind of track your pull requests. And you know, once they're merged, they can track if it's merged and all those things. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Rules, pull requests can be made in any participating GitHub or GitLab hosted repository slash projects. You look for the Hacktoberfest topic, uh, then you can sign up anytime between October 1st and the 31st. Makes sense because it's Hacktoberfest. Uh, just be sure to sign up on the official Hacktoberfest website for your pull request account. So again, make sure it's at the link that I have for this video, added to this video. Uh, cool. So then the pull request must contain commits you made yourself. If a maintainer reports your pull request as spam, it will not be counted toward your participation in Hacktoberfest. If a maintainer reports behavior that's not in line with the project's code of conduct, 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 you will be ineligible to participate. So don't mess around. A pull request, uh, I forgot to be adding clips. A pull request is considered approved once it has an overall approving, overall approving review from maintainers or has been merged by maintainers, or has been given the Hacktober dash accepted label. Cool, and then global events, so you have a bunch of events, you can view all the events, so I guess let's take a look at that and see what's happening all over the world. Events, uh, all right, cool, so we have like an air table it looks like, so we got nice, Phoenix, Arizona, online, true. Uh, India, dope, Spain, India, 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 New York, uh, India again. India, India is uh, representing. Nice. Uh, a lot of India. Uh, more India. Singapore. Nice. Augusta, Georgia. Nice. Brazil. Word. UK in the house. All right. Uh, again, Brazil. Nashville, Tennessee. Nice. Free code camp. Nice. Uh, Germany. Mexico. Jordan. Germany again. California. Cool. And uh, yeah, Thailand, Poland, Nepal, that's dope. So yeah, so a lot of places, super awesome. So shouts to everyone being involved, uh, giving, cool. And they have the Twitter, LinkedIn. Let's go back really quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. All right, so view all the events, featured events. So the kickoff, October 4th, which is tomorrow, is the official kickoff number two for the Asia Pacific region, nice. Oh, and then October 6th is yet another one for middle, uh, for Europe, Middle East, and Africa region. Nice. Good to see everyone doing everything. Shout out to all the premium partners here. All right. Making it happen. Community partners. Shout out to community partners. Uh, spread the word. Nice. And then you can join the Discord. And uh, yeah, super awesome. So that's dope. So shouts to uh, everyone that's involved in Hacktoberfest. Uh, yeah, so, you know, again, feel free to, uh, oh, also, before I forget, uh, selfless plug, selfish plug, I don't know, but uh, let me see, because we just recently, at Vonage, uh, shouts to Mofi, my uh, teammate, released, uh, let's see here, so if you go to, I'm a, we have a post, that went live, I'm pretty sure, about the do's and don'ts of Hacktoberfest somewhere. Here we go. See, I keep up with things going on at work. All right, so I'm going to post a link to this as well so you can check it out. So it will be along with the video archive. So uh, let me add that. Cool. Save the links. So it will be there. All right, and uh, yeah, shouts to Mofi. It's a super dope uh, thing. I actually got to uh, kind of review it. So uh, yeah, good stuff. So all right, that is going to be it for this uh, break session. Hopefully you got to, I don't know, stretch your legs, do something, what have you. 
You know what I mean? Uh, so haven't had any show and tells yet. So if anything, what we're going to do is go for the final break session, uh, go over an artist's website. And it's a, pre a pretty large artist you may have known, but you may know. And uh, so we'll take a look at their website. And uh, yeah, so get y'all back to work. Again, thanks for hanging out. I think that's everything. I got the video saved and everything. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. And uh, see y'all 15 minutes after the hour. Uh, cool. Yeah. Let me just uh, wait, wait. Stop the screen share. Cool. All right. So I wish you much productivity. Uh, let me switch over so that I can get, send y'all off with some tunes. Again, uh, so this is Anthony Cruz, a.k.a. A. Butter. Uh, from a group called uh, Natural Elements. And uh, yeah, the track is called Thank You. Because again, thank you all for hanging out. So see you all uh, 15 minutes after the hour. All right, be easy. Uh, share my screen, be good. It's still early for me. It's, yeah, it's, and I stayed up late last night. Should have known, should have known. All right, thanks y'all. Here we go. All right, see y'all, be easy. I wanna say thank you, thank you so much for holding on. I wanna say thank you for being there when the brother had nowhere to turn to. You were there, and I feel like hell. And everybody said hell. We spread love like hell. I wanna say thank you, thank you for holding on when the brother was down and out. Now I feel so strong, and I wanna say thank you. Thank you.